come out of a again like a, a blues background both of us and we're, we're jazz players that were uh, sort of on that outside new music scene in, in LA I would, let's see the, the thing that's throughout is improvisation it's you know heavily improvisational and then we would just sort of borrow from uh, various cultures and uh, steal liberally steal sacrilegiously that absolutely yeah. He has a forked tongue, so don't get the camera too close. <laughs> well, it's kind of about the, the collision of styles. You know, what happens if you mix up Delta Blues with North, North Indian Raga? I mean, there's one recipe. You know, what happens if you mix up uh, Greek Rambetica music with uh, Kentucky Bluegrass? And, and it's amazing how similar some of those styles are. And you, you put them together and you start to shift them around and it becomes a really interesting sort of uh, fusion. The tunes are, are um, you know, little worlds under themselves with their own little ecosystems and little critters. And uh, the, the tunes have been growing a lot. So, you know, we, we're continually um, reworking the material and adding new material and, and Bill just add, added the shang so even adding instruments and sounds and textures. So. And, yeah so much of it is improvisational that it changes from you know um, month to month and show to show even. Yeah. So it's it's always a new tune each time with um, you know bits of melodic material that we hit and, uh, and a general vibe or a mode. Scott writes a lot of the, the tunes, most of them actually, and then we um, he'll he'll send me what he's doing on guitar, and I'll work up a harmonica, ver you know, reduction of it, you know, some faux accordion part or something, and then we'll try to see how we can fit those together. Some things are technique driven, yeah. You, know, you, uh -huh, you bring new true. things into it, what you're learning on your instrument, and uh, you know, stumble and have fun with it. Probably 2003, I think, we put our first record out. Right. Yeah, and, and then we kind of just recorded that to document it because I was leaving town and we weren't really sure, you know, what we were going to do with it, but uh, we thought we'd document the material we were working on. And uh, and lo and behold, some people liked it, so uh, uh, that kind of was encouraging and, and uh, we realized we were kind of getting obsessed with the concept and wanted to keep rolling with it. It's kind of wild because we, we can go from from a uh, a blues gig that has at least adventurous ears, you know, to kind of blues venue to uh, to a new music venue that has experimental you know, music with experimental ideas, um, to a folk center, you know, so uh, to even kind of a jazz gig because we're doing jazz type improvisation and soloing over the top of some of these more kind of world that's, folk idioms. That's the connecting thread. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. So and we're kind less, of all over the map. Less chordal based, more drone based, modal based. We've had some really great reactions. I mean, yeah. really excited reactions. And I think that's because it is new and fresh and it's challenging to their to people's ears, some people's ears. And, and uh, but I think it's it's also roots based, you know, it's, it's based in, in all kinds of roots. of Turkish music, roots of gypsy music, roots of the blues, and, and so there's a lot people can feed off of. And also the, you know, banjo, guitar, even slide guitar, certainly harmonica, they're like, you know, they're they are roots music, they're, it's deep in Americana, you know. Um, yeah, most people won't, won't admit it up front, but they love the banjo and harmonica. <laughs> <laughs> And I think where we want to see it go is uh, just keep playing and experimenting and, and uh, getting it out to 
you yeah. know, more ears that are appreciative and open to it, you know. It's about the process. About the process, <laughs> for sure.